Hello, grade 8, and welcome back to the second week where we'll be talking about two lessons. We will be finishing up the atomic theory and starting with the second lesson of the unit, which is the periodic table. An important note for this week your science pretest will be taken on the 12th of September. This test is going to assess your previous knowledge so we can know where you stand in this course, what you know and what you don't know, so we are able to see how this course will take place. As for this week's objectives, we are going to understand the development of atomic theories. We already started with this last week. We saw the different models that were created by different scientists, what they have discovered, and how they built different models until today. So we are going to understand the modern model of the atom. There is the model of today, and we're going to compare it with previous models and see what is discovered through these models. And then we're going to identify the particle charge, mass, and atomic number. Now we know that there are subparticles of the atom, which is protons, neutrons, and electrons. We are going to get introduced to their charges because each one has a different charge and they have different masses. We're going to understand this. And we are going to know that each element has a specific atomic number. And as for the last objective of this lesson is understanding how elements have isotopes. We're going to get introduced to the term isotopes. What is an isotope? How do we know that this element has isotopes? We're going to know all this during this week. As for the second lesson objectives, we have understanding how elements are organized. Now we have a lot of elements. We're going to organize it in the periodic table so we will identify what is the periodic table who is the scientist that first created the periodic table how did the periodic change from old days to modern days and then we're going to understand how elements are represented in the periodic table how is this periodic table shaped and how are the elements found inside of it as for this week's activities we have a lot of fun activities for this week. First, we will watch a historical video and timeline of the atomic model developments to draw a model. So we will watch a lot of historical videos and I will show you a timeline of all the models from the first model which was by created and discovered by John Dalton until today's modern model atom. We will divide ourselves into groups and each group will take a model and they will draw it and explain about it and then we will watch a simulation to know more about isotopes so we know that elements have isotopes so what are isotopes we will know during this week and we will watch a simulation about isotopes also we will build an atom online through simulation so we know that there is atoms and the elements are made up of atoms so we're going to build an atom through a simulation to see different elements. Also, as we said, we're going to identify the periodic table. So we're going to know that Mendeleev was the first scientist to draw a periodic table. We're going to understand how he came up with this idea, how he created the first periodic table. And then we're going to watch a video of the modern periodic table, and we are going to compare between the first and the most modern periodic table and then we will play an interactive periodic table game where we guess the element's name by its symbol so we will refer to our book for the periodic table and then we will see the symbol online and then we will decide what is the name of this element and also there's an interactive periodic uh, periodic table that we will 
see cells, we will choose a cell and then we will write the components of this cell, the atomic mass, the atomic number, chemical symbol, elements name. We will take it from the interactive periodic table. And as usual, we will use online quizzes to assess our knowledge for this week. And that's it for the second week. Thank you so much, grade eight. Always remember I'm here for you, whatever you need, whatever you want to ask, I'm always here. You can come and ask me. And thank you again, eighth grade.